estamos acá sentado en la aeronave AW139M, la versión M está para militar, que es la última variante de la Fuerza Aérea Italiana, eh, entregada hace poco tiempo eh, en una versión búsqueda de rescate. Esta aeronave eh, se diferencia de otras mm, en su categoría por la tecnología y la capacidad de prestaciones. En particular, eh, el nivel tecnológico desarrollado por el piloto automático de cuatro ejes y capacidad de volar en cualquier condición día y noche eh, permite un nivel de, de emisiones muy, muy alto. Y aparte de eso, el nivel tecnológico también se, se, se nota por la instrumentación completa que se acerca hoy día a la tecnología del ala fija. Así que se puede operar día y noche en cualquier condición. Bueno, ese tour en colaboración con la, la Aeronave Militar Italiana, la Fuerza Aérea Italiana y Augusta Westland, eh, tiene el objetivo de promover eh, tanto la, el, el modelo de la aeronave cuanto el brand de Augusta Westland en toda América del Sur. Empezamos con la fiera de FIDAE, donde la empresa, la aeronave, junto con eh, el, el apoyo de la empresa, eh, demostró en vuelo durante la exhibición la capacidad operativa de la aeronave y el día siguiente salimos para recorrer en América del Sur varios países de Argentina para Uruguay, Chile, eh, Perú, Ecuador, estamos hoy día en Colombia donde terminamos nuestra actividad eh, con el objetivo de mostrar la aeronave tanto a fuerzas eh, armadas, fuerzas mmm, decimos policiales y también a, a um, clientes civiles. In collaboration uh, uh, with Augusta Westland, uh, we are part of the demo tour uh, in South America and uh, one of the um, uh, spots which have been chosen is Colombia. The geography of uh, Colombia is a bit different from what it is in Italy uh, because uh, you have uh, much higher altitudes of course here um, but we have uh, handled uh, to fly uh, back and forth from uh, Bogota to Medellin climbing even uh, above uh, the mountains uh, for bad weather so uh, I, I can say that the mission has been uh, accomplished we, have, we, were, we were able to uh, uh, fly in the terrain of uh, Colombia. The helicopter maximum airspeed, uh, the VNE, is uh, 167 uh, knots. Uh, it is uh, certified by ASA up to 20,000 feet. Of course, uh, you need to have oxygen equipped, which uh, is not the case of this helicopter, but as performance, the helicopter can climb up to 20,000. Um, from a handling quality point of view, uh, be aware that this helicopter is certified by ASA for a single pilot IFR operation which is, uh, to say, the highest standard uh, available right now. And uh, it has a lot of uh, automatic uh, features uh, which uh, allow to be certified as a single pilot IFR. And uh, a lot of the automatic features include also the uh, auto hover. The primary role of this helicopter is a uh, search and rescue for the Italian Air Force. Uh, the Italian Air Force, in order to fly with the fixed-wing uh, fighter uh, jets, has to have 24 hours of uh, search and rescue assurance. Okay? So we have uh, 13 uh, uh, Alpha Whiskey 139, uh, just recently acquired from the Air Force, which uh, have been um, acquired to uh, modernize the fleet of HH-3Fs and 212s that uh, we had. The bases right now are in Cervia, Pratica di Mare, Gioia del Colle and Trapani. Um, other missions which uh, the Italian Air Force uh, fulfills was the Alpha Whiskey 139 or the HH 139A, which is the military denomination. It is um, humanitarian transport or a search and rescue for uh, fishermen or fisher boats that uh, require assistance uh, at sea. Be advised that this helicopter is uh, the military version of the 139, but has uh, a lot of additional uh, equipments. Uh, 
like uh, the predisposition for chaff and flare it has the radar it has the fear so we're talking about uh, um, a machine which is um, normally most um, more uh, heavy than the other normal helicopters so uh, I would say that uh, it is it is probably uh, not the best uh, uh, customization of the 139 uh, to be flown at a high altitude but notwithstanding that we still managed to do all the flights that we plan to do